Hello everyone, guten Abend. We've been learning uh, different German words and phrases. Guten Morgen, guten, um, guten Tag, which is good afternoon. Verabschiedung apparently is not the proper way to say goodbye. You should say tschüss, tschüss, tschüss. I don't know if I'm right or not. Uh, let's look at some German cuckoo clocks. Let's go. The Black Forest in southwest Germany is renowned for a certain kind of clock. Imagine you live deep in the Black Forest, those long, dark winter nights. You got a whole lot of time and a whole lot of wood. And that's where cuckoo clocks come from, Lo local peasant craftsmen decorating their precious clocks. One of the oldest clock manufacturers in town is Rombach and Haas. Established in 1894, today it's run by husband and wife team Ingolf and Connie. Rombach and Haas. Ingolf's team will build the Finnish cuckoo clock but only after he's braved the elements to collect the materials they need. First stop, the workshop of master... 1894, so that's how you really develop the word of mouth and a good business, right? Over 100 years, that's crazy. The craftsman Gerhard Berger. Gerhard works all year round, hand carving blocks of linden wood into the decorative surrounds that frame each clock. But you wouldn't hang this colorless surround on your wall, so the frames are stained walnut brown. The clock doesn't just need to look right, it needs to sound right too. So the next stop is the workshop where Holger Kienzler has been crafting cuckoo calls for more than 30 years. As the bird moves out of the little door in the clock, it pulls the bellows open, filling them with air. Gravity closes the bellows, which forces air down through each of the two whistles in turn, making the cuckoo sound. The first fellow to make a cuckoo clock way back in the 1700s was actually trying to make a rooster clock, but he couldn't get the thing to sound like a rooster. No problem, <laughs> call it a cuckoo clock. It's easier to change the bird than the clock. The small leather bellows are glued onto the top of the whistle add a tiny weight to ensure the correct speed. The pitch is perfect, but in golf is still missing the vital centerpiece, the clock mechanism. SBS Fine Technic have been making clock components for 160 years. The 129 parts that make up each mechanism are all manufactured on site then hand-assembled on a line that runs like clockwork. <laughs> These are pendulum clocks. Serious about punctuality, then what you're actually after <laughs> is the latest atomic clock. So we're saying those particular clocks aren't necessarily super accurate after a time, but... The last piece of Ingolf's 196-piece puzzle is the Cuckoo's House, Cuckoo's house. which is built here at the Riesler Woodworks Factory. They use plywood and local pine. Plywood for sturdiness, pine for the clock's classic texture. Yeah, this is a, a laser cut machine. If you would saw by hand or whatever uh, a dial with the numbers and the hands, this would cost probably more than the total cuckoo clock today. <laughs> the design is fed into a computer and the laser goes to work. No idea what temperature. <laughs> Very hot. <laughs> Very hot, yeah. <laughs> you can use your finger to test. <laughs> yep. Ingolf now has all the components to make a cuckoo clock. But it's not simply a case of assembling 196 pieces. The clock needs to come to life. Cuckoos come in various designs and Ingolf's wife, Connie, has painted more birds than she'd care to recall. Many, many, many. <laughs> thousand, thousand, thousand. <laughs> and with thousand. the decoration complete, it's time to bring the final clock together. 
The mechanism goes in. The bellows are added. The clock hands are attached. The carvings are fixed. OK. That's a finished clock. We did it. <laughs> Sounded like he said Prices something else. Prices ranged from 200 euros to 15,000. Because a cuckoo of this quality never goes cheap. Beautiful. That's how you make uh, cuckoo clocks. German cuckoo clocks. They're very classic. Um, did Germany like invent these things? You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments. I don't know if Germany invented them or not, or they're from uh, another place in Europe. But we've seen them in lots of films and movies and stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to find out. I'm going to have to do some research. All right. Thanks.